quick tools. It is very common to use modifiers when modeling in Blender. One of my most frequently used modifiers is the bevel modifier. It offers me in a non-destructive way of modeling so that I can tweak the parameters whenever I need to without having to modify the model's vertices manually. But have you ever come across a time during modeling when you applied a bevel modifier and the model's result isn't what you expected? As you can see, this model looks the same as the one next to it. But no matter how you tweak the sliders, you just don't see any difference. You've already made sure that the model scale is applied at one across all axes, and you don't know why this is happening. The reason why you are not seeing any bevels is because of the clamping. If I untick the clamp overlap checkbox, you'll see that the middle part of the arc doesn't look right. This is because that part of the model has more than one vertex occupying the same spot. Notice that the model is actually just a simple box shape, and you might think that the model is clean to begin with and wouldn't possibly cause any problems. But it is always a good idea to take note of the changes that you make to the model when using modifiers, as they can cause overlapping vertices, such as the case with my initial bevel modifier here when I was creating the arc. The clamping had ensured that the beveling stops when the ends meet in the middle, and as a result, created two points of overlapping vertices. Sometimes, this scenario can also cause you to have unexpected results from Boolean operations too, and the reason is not immediately obvious at first glance. Beginners could spend a lot of time fumbling around and still not be able to figure out what is causing the problem. So, the solution is to go through all your modifiers and slightly adjust the parameters so that they don't cause any overlapping vertices. If that is not an option, then perhaps apply all of the modifiers and press M in edit mode to remove all the overlapping vertices by distance. This will ensure that you have a clean model to carry on with your modeling. Now, the bevel and boolean operations will behave as expected. Thank you for watching, save your file, and I'll see you in the next video. Hi! <laughs> Subscribe!